hey kings welcome and welcome back to my channel it's a girl ij you already know how we do it here today i bring another interesting video for you guys on the type of women you should not date now in case you've not been following my channel i have a complete uh playlist like a series where i talk about different type of women that you should not date if you are a high value man or if you're a man that has values all right so let me just add this video to that list of women that you should avoid dating for your mental health sake most of these women will drive you crazy like they will drive you nuts so make sure you watch this video until the end to know the type of women to avoid if you want to have peace of mind and thank you guys for already subscribed and if you're not yet subscribed make sure you did that before you leave so let's just jump straight into this video now i'm starting off with this one because i see that it is becoming a norm in the society if you are dating a girl who is bi curious then I don't know what you're doing. Now, the whole LGBTQ community is everywhere. I mean, someone even asked me about my swing chair if I was trying to, you know, promote all of that. Like, see, I'm not God. I shouldn't judge, all right? So I try not to get into all of that. But, like, if you're dating a girl who is always quick to tell you, oh, I don't know what it would feel like to sleep with a, a fellow girl. I'd like to know what it feels like to sleep with a fellow girl. Or she's always talking about this community. She's always talking about lesbianism. She's always talking about, you know, all of this homosexuality and all of this gay shit. And she's very curious about it, all right? She wants to try. She wants to know what it feels like. I mean, I don't think you should be dating somebody like that, especially if you're a very straight man. Because tell me, how many of your homeboys, how many of you do you guys, how many, how many times do you guys sit down and say, oh, I'm thinking about what it would look like to be smashing Mac? Like, do you guys ever, you know, I mean, if, you, if you're not doing that, then I don't see why you should be comfortable being with a girl that wants to be doing that, that wants to try the other side. Like, you're going to just go crazy, all right? Because, I mean, if you're strictly, if you're, okay, not strictly, like, if you're strictly straight as a man, I think you should go with somebody that understands your values when it comes to sexuality and don't and uh, you know avoid the ones that will make you question your sexuality or question if you know you're being too strict by not allowing them to explore and live this life that every youth almost every youth is trying to live right now so i mean if you want peace of mind and the lady is by curious just let her be right leave her and go be with someone that is on the same sexual value as you so don't date a by curious person secondly if your girl or if the girl you're trying to date is an ex prostitute <laughs> if she's an, an if she's an ex olosho an ex a shower girl like bro are you serious i always tell people that people never really change and even if she she does change and i mean you're you're believing that she has changed are you sure you're going to have a hundred percent trust where she is because i feel like you're going to have serious insecurity problem very serious that will eventually drive you nuts because you're just going to feel that something can still make her sleep with somebody for money or sleep with somebody for anything so if you're if you're dating a girl who's like oh i used to do prostitution and but now i'm changed and all of that i just feel like somehow you might never be able to trust her. Now, I'm not judging them because I don't know. People have a lot of stories why they went into that, you know, line of business. So, um, again, this video is not to judge anybody. But, like, I'm talking to you, Kings, and I'm just, you know, giving you a piece of my mind. Like, you sit down and think about it. Like, if you're going to be comfortable that, I mean, if you're not there, she's going to put her legs, she's going to close her legs together, and she's not going to let another man smash her for, you know, trying to offer this or offer that. And especially if she's trying, if she wants you to provide something for her, and there's a little delay, but somehow you find out that she now has that stuff that she's, she was asking you to provide for her, you're going to be thinking, who got it for her, and what did she pay with? All right, so for your mental health sake, I will tell you to avoid a woman who who you know who was on the streets all right if she was on the streets and you are not of the street don't go there thinking you're going to change her don't go there thinking you're going to make her life better don't go there thinking you're going to make her you know become whole again because i don't know it just takes the holy spirit to make that work all right the third type of woman i would say to avoid dating as a man who wants to have peace is instagram models now you see this generation of influencers and everything is entering the head yes i know I'm, I'm i'm a small influencer but i know what the market is like see the amount of attention these people want the amount of fame these people are hungry for is going to drive you crazy especially if you are not in the same field as they are if you are not an influencer i mean even when you're an influencer there's just too much going on why do you think a lot of influencers dating always break up? Because, you know, the struggle for that fame, honestly, bro, it will drive you crazy. So if you're someone who wants peace, 
avoid dating instagram models or avoid trying to marry them again except you're in the same field and you understand the business and you understand the kind of pressure that comes from it all right those people are built to want attention those people are wired to seek attention that's why when it's not going well for a lot of them they begin to you know leak their sex tapes they begin to leak some sex videos they begin to go naked twerk on social media twerk on instagram because they are seeking that kind of attention so if the regular content they are doing is not moving well they're going to do something nasty just because they are hungry for that fame now if you're somebody who is cool-headed who is level-headed who doesn't want any of this kind of stress avoid dating them no matter how beautiful some of these people are extremely beautiful i'm a girl and i know that like bro a lot of beautiful ladies are out there so some of these people are extremely beautiful and it just feels cool you know to tell your you tell your friends oh that's my girl that's my woman but like are you okay that she's showing all of those nudity outside are you okay that she's opening an only fan because she's desperate for that fame and that money that every other girl is getting because a lot of these influencers are quick to come online to splash cash and show their fancy things so if your girl is not you know getting what they are getting she's going to try to find out what they are doing to give them what they are getting so you see how it's just so stressful don't do it okay avoid dating influencers and ig model let them date themselves all right let them date themselves they will understand the market and somehow they'll look for a common ground and make it work so even if anybody's cheating they both know that they have to deal with it so if you're someone who's not in that field just avoid it for your mental health sake all right another type of woman you should obviously avoid is a clingy woman now if a woman is clingy at first it's going to feel all sweet oh she always wants to be around me she's not she, she's always in my you know she's always there just around you always you know you feel sweet that oh she's so much in love with you but it's going to start draining you gradually like when you cannot have your own space like you cannot have anything called privacy like i don't care how sweet the relationship is there's a time when you want to be alone now, if you have a clingy woman who is see a lot of clingy people are just insecure that's sure that's what i'm going to say yes believe it or not a lot of clingy people are insecure because they are when you're when you're they're not around you they're beginning to wonder what are you doing you could be with somebody else that's why they want to be around you they will stop you from going to work they'll stop you from being productive they will delay you they will make you procrastinate because you always have to be around them they will call you when you're at work they will disturb your work life they will disturb your personal life they will always want to be with you like you cannot hang out with your friends alone anymore because your clingy girlfriend wants to start tag along your clingy girlfriend wants to call you two for seven she wants to call you on video call like bro please don't don't date a clingy girl just don't date a clingy girl don't marry a clingy girl she's going to drive you nuts the last on my list today is the crazy feminist now feminism is not the issue i mean it's people who lack the understanding of feminism that's the that they are the issue they are the crazy feminists they're the ones who think it's a competition and not equality all right now even a lot of women don't even want to be equal with men a lot of women want a man to be bigger than them like i want a man to pamper me and take care of me with all of his money i do want to have my own money but like yes everybody's value is different so i want to be a sport wife, sit at home do nothing and my man should walk his ass off and give me all of the money in the world yes i don't mind because i don't want to work all right but like there are people out there there are women out there who wants to make men feel small because they want to feel big and they are the crazy feminists all right they're the crazy feminists who want to make men think that they are smaller and they are bigger because they're also achieving what men are achieving so they don't care so you need to be very careful about this one when you start dating them they will undermine everything they will call everything you do bare minimum they will not appreciate you they will feel entitled they will think what you're doing is just ordinary and you shouldn't be praised or celebrated for what you're doing they tell you that's a man's uh work that's what a man should do you shouldn't be expecting thank you because you're doing what a man should do like you already know how it goes so if you're going to date avoid the crazy feminists avoid the ones that feels like they're in constant competition with you as their man rather than to know that they're standing side by side with you and trying to work it to the top with you so this is the end of the video and guys let me know in the comment section what you think about this if you've ever dated anybody like this and if you have more examples of the kind of women to avoid please let me know in the comment section because i'm always reading all of your comments so i will see you next time if you're not yet subscribed make sure you subscribe before you leave and click on that bell button so that you don't miss any of my videos so until next time keep living life keep being champs and bye for now Mwah.